What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, check out the team that we have in front of ourselves today. Today, we are rocking out with a heavy off meta team that features G-Max Lapras, Crocodile, Xerneas, and Ho-Oh. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, the support on the channel has been amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. But let's get started here. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Raichu. Raichu is great with the lightning rod ability so we can soak, in, soak up any electric shots that are on the field. So really, really good at protecting our G-Max Slappers due to its, uh, its weakness to electric. We got the Focus Sash as item. Then we're rocking out with Volt Switch for Pivot, helping hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage, Sing to actually put Pokemon to sleep, and last but not least, can I have a Raichu without Fake Out on it? Fake Out's just too good, why not have it on it? Right next to him is going to be our G-Max Lapras, super, super strong Pokemon, can set up the Roar Bell with its G-Max move, we have the Water Absorb as its ability, alongside with the Light Clay as item, so you know that a Roar Bell can last 8 turns instead of 5 turns. We got a great move set of Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, that is also super effective on the Water Pokemon, Blizzard, which hits 100% of the time in the rain, or not the rain, hits 100% of the time in the hail, and then last but not least, we're Rock and Protect on this lovely little Lapras. Middle left is going to be probably my favorite Pokemon in the group right here. It is going to be Choice Scarf Crocodile over here with the Intimidate ability. Really, really cool Pokemon. I absolutely love its design. Just like, look at it. It looks like a crocodile bandit that just robbed the bank. Like, dude, it's hilarious. It is hilarious. I love that Pokemon so much. We got High Horsepower for Stab, Rock Slide for Coverage, Foul Play for Stab, and then Snarl for Stab and Special Attack Drop. But like I said, we have that Choice Scarf, so we're going to be able to pretty much outspeed everything and get the first turn in every single time. Except for, you know, if Trickrim's out and about. Then then we have a problem. Then we have a problem for our poor little uh, bank robbing crocodile. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is a great defensively bulk Pokemon. Really good up against physical attackers due to its iron defense setup. I can set up with iron defense, bulk up, and then have those leftovers as their item to just, uh, you know, stroll through there, reg regain HP, and just go from there. We got Iron Barb as its ability. And then last but not least, the other three moves are going to be Leech Seed to set up for more HP recovery, Body Press for, you know, big defensive bulk damage, and then Protect for our fourth and final move just to waste out turns and get more HP at the end of every single turn. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our first restricted mind. That is going to be Xerneas over here. And I think Xerneas is super, super strong, but super weak at the same time. And the reason I say that is because it's really only viable if you can set up its Geomance. And most of the time, opponents are ready to kind of defend the Geomance. Because once this Pokemon gets set up, it is top tier. It is going to be able to bulk out, destroy any single Pokemon in one shot, and just roll out the battle. It really is that strong once it gets set up. But the problem is setting it up setting up the Pokemon because, you know, a lot of people are predicting you going into Xerneas and setting up that Pokemon. We got the Power Herb and Fairy Aura as its item and ability, and then we're rocking out with the move set of Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Geomance, and then, you know, Protect for our fourth and final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our second restricted mind. That is going to be Ho-Oh over, over here. This thing is super bulky, very, very good in a lot of different situations alongside with the Regenerator ability, so every time we swap out, you know, we're going to get HP back. Magabite as an item, and then it's got the normal moves out of Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Recover, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, you guys already know the deal. The rental code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder, look to get some wins with this off-meta Crocodile, Xerneas, and Ho-Oh team. Your boy is sitting at top 1,000 in the match here. We're at 973, and we're going up against an opponent who was like 627, I believe. So it's going to be a tough battle, especially with the team that we're using. I don't know why I decided to use an off-meta team this high up in the ladder. But, yo, let's have some fun with it. Let's try to grab some wins. We're going up against a pretty tough uh, Groudon and Zassian team with Charizard, Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, and Storm Drain Gastron. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I really want the Lapras. I really want the Lapras, but the Storm Drain Gastron is definitely scaring me. We could go into Xerneas and try to set up the Geomance. It's not too bad here. So we can outspeed and kind of just get it off a of fake out. And I'm kind of with it. I'm kind of digging it a little bit. Hmm. What is going to be my play? We think he's going to lead the Charizard combo. That could happen. The Charizard combo could definitely happen. I'm with this. I'm with these two. Maybe trying to set this up. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We're going to bring Lapras in the back end. And then last but not least, I think we go ho -Oh. I like the Lapras because we do have the freeze try to take out the Storm Dragon Ashton. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But this one's going to be tough. I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to set up the Xerneas, but it is tough to get a Xerneas set up. But if we can, we can be sitting in such a good position. It gets plus two on speed, plus two on special defense, and alongside with that, it has a plus two on special attack. So it's like a weakness policy for him, plus speed, plus bulkiness. It's just amazing. It's just a really good move. So he's going to lead Incineroar and Ground. Okay, so Incineroar and Ground is going to poke out here. Um, I think I just fake out and I set up, right? 
It's gotta be my play, right? I gotta fake out and set up. I have to fake out and set up. That that has to be my player. Do we think he's gonna Dynamax? He could Dynamax the ground on, but I don't know. We could sing the ground on. We could protect this turn, but what's gonna be my play? I'm thinking of just singing this thing. But yo, it's a 55% accuracy. I'd rather just go for this instead of the Geomax. That's gonna be my play all day. Let's set it up. Let's get after it. Hopefully he's not Dynamaxing the ground on. He is gonna Dynamax the ground on. So ground on, unless it's gonna be the instant one. That'd be a crazy play. That would be a crazy play. But yeah, he's gonna Dynamax the ground on. He's gonna try to take out my uh He's gonna try to take out my uh Xerneas. And I think my Xerneas should be able to, you know, bulk up the shot and then set this up. We could be sitting pretty good. Yeah, I kinda like that. We get off some nice damage, we can bolt switch next turn. See how this one plays out here. Fake out's gonna pop out for my Raichu. Yeah, send it. So we're gonna flinch him up. And what's Groudon going for? Maybe a Quake onto Raichu. That'd be cool. And we outspeed. We outspeed the Groudon, which is cool. So we're out here. We're doing this right here. Again, I think we should be able to eat up whatever Groudon has to offer. And he might just go for a Quake into Raichu. And if that's the case, we're gonna be sashed. I'm just gonna Volt Switch onto the, uh, onto the Incineroar. And then we're just gonna go from there. Let's see what he does. Let's see my dude's play. Gonna go for oh this thing's rocking steel spike. Can we eat that? Can you eat that? You can. Okay, that's cool. This thing's rocking steel spike. Wow. I was not expecting that thing to pull out a steel spike. Steel spike on the ground. That's a cool move. So we thought maybe I could take him out. It did not. We're getting gonna get rolling here. I could helping hand him. I'm thinking of doing. I'm totally thinking of just helping handing here and just gleaming, right? I could moon blast. What do I do? I'm thinking of just moon blasting maybe. What is going to be my play? What is the Jeans player? I think it's just helping handing and gleaming. See how much damage we can get off on these guys. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He's going to end up withdrawing you. And who's he going to go into? Who are you going into? Zassy maybe? Charizard's going to come out here. And I'm with that all day. I'll do some damage on that Charizard. I'll do damage on that Charizard all day. And I was going to Volt Switch. That would have been great. That would have been great if we could have Volt Switch. But we're going to do this. We're going to go for a gleam. That might take out the Charizard. Look at that damage. That damage is beautiful. That damage is just gorgeous. He's gonna go for the Quake into go in the Raichu, please. Go in the Raichu, please. Okay, he goes in the Xerneas. Okay, I thought he was gonna go in the Raichu. So he goes in the uh he goes in Xerneas. We still have our focus dash. He's gonna get that plus one on special defense. And then from here, you know what? I'm just gonna bring out Lapras. I am going to Dynamax. And I think I'm just gonna drop a hailstorm. Or not a hailstorm. Though what's it called? What is that thing even called? The uh Geo not the Geomance, the resonance. The G Max Resonance. Get a Roar Valve rolling and go from there. I'm with it. I am with it. I am with it. Because I posed this threat right on the U with, uh, the, with the Volt Switch. So I can go right in here. He might swap into the Gastron on that slot, which I do not mind. If he does, he does. That's fine. But I got to drop this Resonance over on here. We're not going to go for the Water Move just in case he's holding that thing. We know he has Incineroar. We know he has... Uh, uh, what else do we think he's holding? He has the, the Incineroar Charizard. And then he's probably holding his other Restricted Mod if, if I had to guess it. Or Storm Drain Gastron. He has options here. He definitely has options. So we're going to Dynamax our lovely little uh, Lapras here. We're going to get rolling out from here. We still have our bulky, uh, our bulky, bulky Ho-Oh in the back end. And if we can get this resin set up, we can be sitting really, really good. But I'm hoping the Charizard isn't stepping in here. I really hope the Charizard isn't uh, swapping. I, I hope it's just staying in here just so we can get off this Volt Switch. We can take it out and go from there. But he might protect. Let's see. No, he doesn't. So Volt Switch comes out here. Hopefully, he's going for a Quake. If he goes for a Quake into my Raichu slot, that could be a beautiful turn. Because we can waste this shot out right here, right now. Because, you know, we're going to be flying. We're going to be chilling. We're just going to be able to dodge. So, hopefully, the Quake flies through here. If it is, we are... Oh, my God. We could be sitting so beautiful because it's Dynamax turn ends there. And we have a chance of KOing this thing. We do have a chance of KOing this thing due to this shot being super effective. This thing goes for Max Quake. And what a swap. It does not affect Ho-Oh. So, he was going into that slot. We still have our Focus Ash on the right, too. We can pivot back out and use Fake Out next turn. It's a beautiful turn for us. That's not going to do too much damage, but we're setting up the Residence, which is gorgeous. The thing's kind of bulked up with the special defense. But, yo, that's a great turn for us. Really good turn for us. We get the War Bell set up. We waste his last turn at Dynamax, and he doesn't get any damage or any boost off on, on his last move. That's really, really good. That is really, really good. So, we have the we have the uh, thing out. What is it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't even think of it. The War Bell out. And he saw his Drought out, which is good, because my fire moves can do more damage. But from here, what do I do? What's my plan from here? I really want to drop a geyser. I really, really want to drop a geyser. But at the same time, I don't. I do not want him to swap into Storm Dream Gash on. You know what? I'm just going to go for... I'm just going to Brave Bird into him. I'm just going to Brave Bird, and I'm just going to keep the Residence flying. 
I should use this resonance. This one does more damage. I'm just gonna keep the resonance flying. Just in case he wants to swap into Storm Drake Ashton. Just in case he wants to do that. Yeah, there's the withdrawal. Okay, beautiful. So good thing we didn't go for the geysers. Gashon's gonna come out here, or is it going to be? It's gonna be Zassy. That's fine. So now we know he doesn't have Storm Drake Ashton. We can freely go into a uh, geyser next turn. Because actually, the drought one, which is really, really good. Unless he, uh, you know, hard swaps back into it. Let's not go for the fake out, which is kind of dumb. And we get off a nice little Brave Bird damage, and we chip it away. So we get to do some lovely chip damage, and Resonance is gonna fly here, and we're just gonna chip off some more damage. So the more damage, the merrier. Built. Get off some nice damage, and, uh, it's gonna be my play here. Parting shot. Ooh. It's gonna bring back out Groudon. And that's fine that he actually brings up back out Groudon. I'm actually cool with that. Because now we can't step in next turn and change the weather up again. So I am cool with that. I can drop a Secret Fire here. So I'm thinking of doing. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a Secret Fire into the Zassian, and then I'm just going to go into a. Uh, oh, Drought's still out. Drought is still out. I'm just gonna go into Secret Fire, and then I'm just gonna drop a Geyser here. Yeah, that's my plan. He might double protect. I could definitely see that, but he's gonna withdraw his ass. Wow, dude, this guy's just swapping. So I'm gonna have to swap my Ho Oh. I definitely am gonna have to swap my Ho Oh. This guy's bringing out the plays here. Intimidate's dropping. He's doing all that good stuff. He's doing all that good stuff. This guy's crazy. This guy's doing some crazy swaps. He's gonna go for a stone edge. Wow, he's ripping with a stone edge. And I think he got a crit. Did he get a crit there? It was not a crit. Okay, cool. He would have got a crit with taking us out. I know stone edge has a high crit chance. This guy, dude, this is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. Secret fire's gonna poke here. Uh, send it this way. How much damage are we doing? This thing's probably holding a berry too. Which we do not like. Guys, just flying through it. Can this KO this thing, please? I know we're minus one, but come on. And I know it's in the drop. KO this thing, please. Not even close. Not even close. We're going to have to hard swap our ho-oh here and get out of Raichu for fake out and stuff like that. I'm just going to have to go from there. So we get the rain going. If I had to guess, he might swap the... Uh, might swap the Grout on here. Let's see. But we're going to definitely use our regenerator ability. We're going to swap in the Raichu. And then we're going to go into... Do we go into Blizzard? We could go into Blizzard. But Hydro Pump's looking real good. Hydro Pump is looking real, real good. Who do we go into? This slot? Like, who are we going to go into? We know he's probably going to parting shot out. Who do I want going? Who do I want going? This is tough. I say we take out you. We're going to go for a Hydro Pump right into the slot. We're going right into the slot. We're going to swap our Ho-Oh. But she's going to come flying back here. And he's not swapping anybody. He's not swapping anybody. He goes for a fake out. Okay, now fake out's rolling. That's a good turn for him. What's he going for here? Stone Edge. Does it miss? Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful miss. We flinch. That's chilling. Uh, let's go into a fake out here. I think he swaps in Cinnamore. I'm not even going to lie. Good protect this turn. I might just sing. I'm going to go for a sing and predict like a swap or something. What is our play? Nah, we got to use our fake out. We got to use the fake out. We got to use the fake out. We're going to go here and then into a Hydro Pump, and we're going to go from there. I could have swapped my Lapras. That could have been a solid turn for us if we swapped the Lapras. Wow, yo, what a battle. What a battle, dude. This is such a good battle. That's why I love the high tier Master Tier. He swaps Groudon. That's a solid turn for us then. He's going to send out Zassi. We're going to go for this uh, Hydro Pump here. See how much damage we can actually chip off here. He's wasting out these turns like crazy. These uh, Aurora Bell turns, which is really, really good for him. Really, really good for him. Big out's going to poke here. I might have to try to sing and put that Zassi to sleep. Hydro Pump connects. How much damage are we really going to do on a Hydro Pump? In the rain, we're minus one. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad damage. We love it. We love it. That's solid damage. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go for the Sing here. Or I could Bolt Switch. I am going to try to Bolt Switch. I am going to try to Bolt Switch here. And, you know, I'm just going to send a Blizzard over on this slot. Wow, this is such a good battle. He's going to withdraw. Cool. He's going to withdraw in the ground on that slot. I'm digging it all day. Because I was going to go for a Bolt Switch on the Incineroar, but that was the one reason I didn't. That was the one reason I didn't. Was because I was just like, he if he's going to swap Pokemon, it's going to be Incineroar into Groudon. The Volt Switch is still going to come out here. He's going to go for a Sacred Sword. You should be able to eat that up, right? Yes, sir. All day, Lapras. I love you. I love you. Volt Switch pokes out here. Yeah, send it that way. And now we have Fake Out ready to roll for the next turn. Loving it. I'm loving it. Yo, this battle's so good. Such a good battle. Let's bring out Ho-Oh, who is back up to green due to his regenerator ability. And we're going to get rolling. We're going to get rolling. Come on, baby. Ho-Oh, back out and about. We'd love to see a Hydro Pump connects. Cool. Can this KO? It's, I know it's in a drought. He doesn't have his boost anymore. God dang it, dude. So close. So close. Okay. Uh, from here, 
What do I roll out into? Hmm. Probably gonna go for a stone edge here. He's gonna go for a stone edge. You know, I'm just gonna protect him. I'm gonna protect him and I'm gonna go for the KO with uh with you on this slot. Cause I know he's gonna go uh for the stone edge to try to take out my ho. -Oh. I could have swapped him one last time. Try to get back up to full health. Taker Sword's gonna fly through here and we're gonna die here and the stone edge is gonna poke. Okay, so now we're sitting in this position where Hmm. Where he can double protect here. We have our fake out Mon. We need our uh we need to take out this uh ground arm. We 100 percent need to take out this ground arm. Wow, yo, this is coming down to the wire. <laughs> yo, what a battle. Um from here, I think we have to go into Sacred Fire. Try to get after you. And we have to pick out the ground on. The ground on has to be an absolute must pick out because Stone Edge has a high chance of taking this out. High, high chance of taking this out. Let's see what he does. We're just hoping he doesn't double protect. He swaps the ground on. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I am very cool with that. I am very cool with that. He swaps the ground on. Protect can come out from Zassy. Mm. Now I do not like that. I really want that Zassy dead. Okay, how we how how we how we playing this one? We have to bolt switch into that that Zassy in here, and take him out. And then I think we just uh we could recover here. We could actually recover up some HP, which I'm thinking of doing. Just doing this. I'm thinking of just doing this, recovering up some HP and going from here. We might hard swap back into the Groudon onto the Incineroar slot because he loves his Intimidates. Dude, this is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. Long and drawn out. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's coming down to why I really do not know who's going to win. So we have this Groudon on one. We have his, uh, we still have our Focus Sash. But my the, my problem is my, my Raichu cannot hit the Groudon. We have no other hitting moves. We have Sing. We have Helping Hand. We have Fake Out, which we cannot hit. He's going to go for a Fake Out of his own. And he's going to Fake Out on the My Raichu. The solid turn from him. He's going to go for a Secret Sword. Can you eat this up? No. No. God dang it. God dang it, man. Now we definitely lost this one. Now we definitely lost this one. Okay. He's going to hard swap Incineroar. We know that. We know he's hard swapping Incineroar. We already know he's hard swapping Incineroar, which is tough. Into Groudon. Just to get Intimidate back on the field. Oh, no, dude. And he does not swap him. We're just going to go straight for Behemoth Blade. That's fine. My boy should be able to soak. He's still going to probably do a decent amount of damage. That's a scary move. Look at that. The damage is ridiculous. That damage is ridiculous. Not very effective. We're going to go before him. We're going to drop a Sacred Fire and we take him out. No way. So we're going to hope that this thing misses a Stone Edge. That's what we really need. What we really need. He could go into a Parting Shot here, which would pretty much solidify the battle. And he does. Dang it, dude. That's GG's. That is GG's all day long. Attack drops. Special attack drops. No, man. God dang it. God dang it. We probably should have went to attack and move with Ho-Oh. Would have been a little bit of a better call. But... We had nothing. We couldn't do anything with that Raichu. So once he faked this out, I was like, oh, that's tough news. That's tough news. So what a bunch of, what a battle, dude. That's all I got to say. Our opponent played really good here. Our opponent definitely played really good. Um, is there a way out of this one? I think the only way out of this is if uh, he misses the Stone Edge here. We take out Groudon and he doesn't protect. And then we uh, get a crit maybe onto the Incineroar. It's like the only way. Legitimately the only way. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Because Sacred Fire should still be able to take out Groudon, even though we're minus, like, two. And he fakes, fakes this out anyway. That's GG. Stone Edge going to poke through here. Yep, there it is. And it connects. GG's, man. Yo, what a battle. What a battle all around. We're sitting at 0-1. Definitely could have been 1-0, but opponent just outplayed us there at the end. Let's hop through a second battle. Look for a first win for today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, we dropped out of top 1,000. I'm crying a little bit inside, but hey, we have a chance to get back into the top 1,000 with a victory in battle number two. We're going up against the Yvelta and Zaskin team, alongside Regilecki, Grimstarl, Rill Boom, and Landers. But our last opponent just played so well at the end there. That was such a good battle. I'm glad I actually got that one on recording. But how should we go into this one? How should we lead it? I definitely want to bring Crookedile here. I definitely want to bring Crookedile, and I'm kind of leaning towards Xerneas maybe for leading. I could go Crookedile and Xerneas. That ain't too shabby. That is not too shabby. I mean, he does have a few Intimidates, but he has a lot of physical attackers with fake outs and all that. But I'm going to go Crookedile definitely for sure. And I might leave Lapras with it. See the Lapras or Xerneas. You think he's going to lead the Zacian? That could be tough if he does lead the Zacian. 
Uh, I'm gonna go Crocodile. If he does lead Zass and we do have the high horsepower, we can do a lot of work with that. So I'm with that all day. So we're gonna go Crocodile, and I'm gonna go Z uh, Xerneas. Then I'm gonna bring Lapras, and then last but not least, I'm bringing Ho-Oh. Or do I bring Ferrothorn? I'm kind of liking a little bit of Ferrothorn, actually. Nah, we're gonna bring Ho-Oh. He has two, he has two uh, or one, uh, or two Pokemon that is super effective up against fire, so gotta bring that in here. Gotta bring that in here. I'm with it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Just analyzing the scene right now. I'm just analyzing the scene because I really want this victory. I definitely want to pick up at least one victory. Well, we're, we're definitely going to pick up one victory because you guys know my rules. We don't go 0-3 and, and we do not get swept. And we do not get swept. But we got we to gotta win this one here. I definitely want to win this one just so we're back up in the top 1,000. And then our third and final battle could be another top 1,000 battle. Hopefully. That's, that's my plan. If not, we're going to have to just muck this one out. Take a loss here. Go 0-2 and, and then win our third and final battle. So I knew it's going to be tough with this team. This team is a lot of fun. We actually played really well with it last game. But I just think our opponent was just outplaying us at the end with all the swaps. He's going to go in with a Robum alongside with Yveltal. And I'm cool with that. So we're going to bring in Xerneas alongside with, you know, my boy Crocodile here. Okay. I'm with it all that. We pose a huge threat on Yveltal. We pose a huge threat. He could fake me out. Um, in this case, I might just go for... What am I going to go for? Oh, our, four, our Fairy Roar comes out on top of that. Which is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That's really cool. I might just go for a Geomance. If he fakes me out, he fakes me out. I could protect this turn, but if he fakes me out, he might hard swap. Let's go for this Rock Slide. Foul play could come out here. Snarl could as well. Hmm. Go for the Rock Slide. I'm kind of digging the Rock Slide. Just for flinches, flinch chances. I'm with the Rock Slide, and I'm with the Geomance setup. I'm liking this all day. He's got to be faking out my my Robin, right? Or is he gonna Dynamax Shivelta? He has a lot of different options he can go into here. A lot of different options. Let's see. We're just hoping he's not weak this policy in Dynamax and Yvelta. What is this dude's play? The Crocodile is nice, dude. I'm with the Crocodile. Crocodile is hilarious, yeah. Look at his little, look at his eyes. Looks like he has shades on. He's going to hard swap him. That's a great call for us. See, we're going to drop a Rock Slide. Let's see what he's going to go into. He's going to go into Zassy. Dude, I want my high horsepower so bad. Please do not fake out my boy. Please do not fake out my boy. Now I can't use high horsepower. Unless I Dynamax him. I could end up Dynamaxing him. Rock Slide's going to poke here. Who, who dodged it? Which one of you boogers dodged it? Which one of you boogers dodged it? Zassian, of course, dodges it. So we do that. Uh, what's that play here? We know he's going into a blade. I might Dynamax Krook here. Do I Dynamax Krook? I might Dynamax Krook, man. <laughs> I might Dynamax Krook. I don't know. He's bulky. He's bulked. Dang, dude. What is my player? We know he's going to go for a Blade in Xerneas. We know he's going to go for a Grass Glide into that slot. So I could swap into Ho-Oh here. Or Crocodile. And then I could just protect you this turn. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're going to have to swap a Crocodile here. Ho-Oh going to come out here. Let's see what his play is. It's got to be Grass Glide, right? It's got to be Grass Glide, Behemoth Blade. There's no other option, right? Grass Glide flying. Uh, eat. We soak that up all day. Beautiful eats. That's lovely eats. Behemoth Blades flying here, and we're going to block it. Okay, so from here... Uh, from here, I'm just going to try to take out this... Uh, I am going to try to take out this... What's it called? This Rillaboom. The Brave Bird, right? Brave Bird can do more damage. So we're going to go into a Brave Bird, and I'm going to hard swap my Xerneas into my Crocodile. Because with the Intimidate... If he goes to Behemoth Blade, we should be able to eat up, and then we should be able to outspeed and get off a high horsepower. But I really got to make sure I take out this Rillaboom here. Because if we don't, then he can just Grass Guy take me out. So we're going to hard swap into Crocodile. And Intimidate's going to fly here again, which is really, really good. Because, you know, Rillaboom's already minus one on uh, physical attack, and he is a big old physical attacker. So now he's minus two. So we like that all day. He withdraws him, so good swap by him. And who's going to go into? Maybe Yveltal? In, okay, so he goes on Lando here. Nice little swap. Should have went for a Sacred Fire. Should have went for a Sacred Fire. So, swaps out from both ends. I'm cool with that. He's going to go for the Behemoth Blade. Again, my boy should be able to soak it up. My boy should be able to soak this up. We do that. He does that. Eat up all day. Bang, bang, bang. Nice little tasty snack. And then from here, we're just going to drop a big old Brave Bird. Send it that way. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Not bad damage. We'll take a little bit of recoil. I still have my Mago Berry. And we'll take all this. So, we have our lovely, lovely little Choice Scarf on. We're just going to go for a Sacred Fire here. Drop it into you. And then we got to go for this high horse power here. Hopefully he's not swapping the Yveltal. Hopefully he's not. I have a weird feeling he is, though. Which would be a beautiful call. 
Let's see what he does. If he does, then our Crookedile can do nothing with two flying Pokemon out on the field. And I might have to, have to just hard swap him again for Intimidate later in the match. He does, dude. What the? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Nice swap. Oh, no. He swaps in a real... Okay, I'm cool with that. He swaps in a real here. Better than Yveltal, you know? High Horse Power is going to poke. He's going to do nothing. He's going to go for Rock Slide. Ho-Oh going to be able to soak that up. Crookedile should be able to as well. Yep. Cool. Dope. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Mega Berry is going to fly. And I might swap my Ho-Oh next turn. Just for Regenerator to come back out here. Sacred Fire is flying. He has Fake Out ready to roll here again. Sacred Fire is not bad. Give me a burn, though. Yes! Lovely little burn. No Lumberry. No Lumberry. Cool. No Lumberry on him. That's huge. That's a huge burn for us. That is a huge burn. That is a huge burn for us. Nice little chippy burn. Uh, I could actually start recovering this turn. I'm thinking of doing. Recover. Go into... We gotta go into a high horsepower, obviously. What? I'm thinking of hard swapping here. He's gonna fake me out regardless. We go into you. Now we're gonna go straight into Xerneas here. Try to get Xerneas some turns. And maybe just save our Dynamax for Lapras. But yo, this is such a good battle. We're swapping our Choice Scarf guy. We'll save him for the back end. We'll save him for the back end because he could definitely come up clutch outspeed a lot of different Pokemon with a various amount of different moves. He has the Snarls. He has the Foul Play. He has the High Horsepower. He can just do a lot. He can definitely do a lot. We're going to swap for Crookedile. I do think Fake Out might be coming into that slot. We're hoping it is because we do we, we do not want him to Fake Out my, uh, my Ho-Oh here because I can get off a nice little, what's it called? Oh, he withdraws anyway. I'm cool with that. Think we're going into High Horsepower? I'm with that. He goes into Yveltal. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Rockside's going to fly. That shouldn't KO my Ho-Oh. He's burned now. Beautiful. Recovers poking. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting here. Now I can set up a free Geomance. Now I can set up a free Geomance and just pose a threat with a... What do I do? What do I do here? I'm obviously going to Sacred Fire into that slot. Into Yveltal slot. We're going to Sacred Fire and we're just going to Geomance. Because he has a Zassi and he has a Rolboom. If he swaps in any of them, it's really good for us. And then we're just going to go into a Geomance. I love it. I love it. I like this turn. I like this turn. Good swaps for us. Great swaps for us. So he withdraws him into... Who are you going into from here? Who are you going into from here? He's going to go into Zassi on that slot. Which I like that turn. I dig it. I dig it. Good swap from him. Good swap from him. And he's going to end up going for the Dynamax. It's tough. That's tough news. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. But if our Xerneas can outspeed the Shiveltal, we can get off our Geomance first and have that special defense boost. That could be huge for us. That could be really, really big. So he's going to do this. And what's going to happen? Geomance is going to come out here. So we do outspeed. So get that special defense boost. That's huge. That is huge for us. So we're going to do that. We're going to maybe try to get a burn onto this uh, Shiveltal. That would be nice. I could hard swap my Ho-Oh for Regenerator. Geomance pops out here with a power herb. Okay, cool. So it took us a while, yo. These battles are going to be long because just the way these, this team works. But I'm liking it. it. Took us a while, but we finally get that set up out here. We finally found a good opportunity to set up. He's going to go for the airstream. He's going to start trying to take speed, but my Xerneas so should still be faster. So there's that. Um, I'm thinking my play is going to be he's going to max guard and go into Behemoth Blade. I do think that might be his play because he knows that my Moonblast can do some ridiculous amount of damage. So I think I might just go into here. Just protect. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We have to chip up some damage onto this, onto this Zassian. But I do think he's gonna guard. He knows we have speed. He's like, I do not want to lose my Yveltal here. So he's probably like, yo, I'm gonna protect. So I'm gonna protect myself too. But I do think he's gonna protect Behemoth Blade. Try to take out Xerneas and then we're just gonna get off a free secret fire here. Which could be a big turn. And then we can just go into a Dazzling Gleam next turn. Which could work wonders. Which could work wonders. That's my plan. That's my guesses. That's my guesses here. So hopefully. Just hopefully that works out. It does make sense though. It does make a lot of sense. Let's see what he ends up doing. He does not end up doing any of them. Unless we, we outspeed first. Let's see. That comes out here. He does not go into that. Wow. He's not going into that. Wow. We could have just we could have just went into our move. He goes to the airstream. Is he doubling down into me? He is. That's tough. That is tough because Zassian probably outspeeds us now. We know that Yveltal doesn't. We know for a fact Yveltal doesn't. So we could have just went into a... Mm. That's so tough. We, over we overthinked it. Sacred Fireflies are 
Give me the burn at least. Give me the burn at least. Give it to me. Give me the burn. No burn. Ouch. Let's see. Let's see the speed on this thing. It's definitely not faster than uh than Zassian. It's kind of close, but no, Zassian should be 100% faster than that. Tough, 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 tough. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. we still have our G Max, which is really good. I'm gonna go for double protect. I'm gonna go for double protect because we're dead regardless. That's now speeds us, so I might as well go for double protect. See if I can land it. That comes out. Of course, we don't land it. I never be landing my double protects. Never. Behemoth Blade finally flies and he gets rid of us, dude. So if we would have went to a Gleam last turn, we could have been sitting really, really good. But I was just overthinking that. I totally thought he was just gonna drop a big old uh, a big old what's it called? A big old guard. He's gonna go into darkness here. My boy should be able to pick this up all day. We love you. Gets, did he just get a crit? Did he just get a crit? He didn't, and that still takes me out. Wow. That damage is ridiculous. Now now we're sitting in such a tough spot. I mean, we do have Crookedile, which is really good. We're gonna have to Dynamax our Lapras. I'm with it all day. We're gonna Dynamax it, go for a Resonance, and our Crookedile just be able to get some work done here. We're just hoping he's not. Dude, he's gonna outspeed me. He's gonna outspeed me. He's gonna outspeed me and just go for a Protect. Mmm. It's real tough. If he doesn't go for a protect, we could be sick then. Could be sitting real good. We're going to a rock slide instead. Nah, we have to go into a high horsepower here. Going to you. Going to the resonance. Try to drop this thing. Let's see what he does. This is such a tough battle. And Timmy did come out here. He did come out. But I know he has a roll boom in the back, and roll boom's definitely scaring me. Wow, dude. Come on, dude. I, I made the wrong call. I made the wrong call. We're having really good battles. Our battles are super, super close. We know he has Rillaboom in the back end. And did he show his final Pokemon? We can't get swept here. We cannot get swept. We cannot get swept. I'm just trying to think of how we can do this one. Dude, if we just went to a Gleam there, that probably would have taken out the Yvelta. Or Moonblast. Moonblast definitely would have taken out the Yvelta. He's going to hard swap you. He's going to go into back end of Rillaboom, right? And, oh no, Lando comes out here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the Lando coming out here. We're going to Dynamax here. We know what Pokemon he kind of has rolling here, and it's good that we Chewy Scarf from the high horsepower. This works a little bit better for us. Done with that. That thing's burned. I totally forgot about that Pokemon. We burned him a while ago. He's not going to do too, too much. Not going to do too, too much here. So we'll, we'll Dynamax. We'll set up the Roar Belt. We still have a nice chance of winning this battle. We still definitely have a nice chance of winning this battle. I am very, very terrified of that Zacian coming in and just Behemoth blading me down. But we might be able to eat up one shot. He goes for you outspeed me? Are you choice? He, no, he's probably not choice. He's just plus. He's just plus two. That's awful. That is awful. Wow, we're really gonna drop down this battle. Wow, what a rough set so far. What a rough set. We definitely lost this one, I think. Best is gonna fly through here. We're gonna drop you. You're going, right? We're not getting swept, right? Please tell me we're not getting swept. Cool. Get him out of here. All right. That thing's gone. We're not getting swept. We're just going to let that Lando just start t start chicken taking chip damage with the burns. But I feel like we we had a shot at that battle, but we didn't take it. We just over we over uh, think their turn or overthought our turn. And it really really came back to bite us because you felt it could have been dead. We could have had some more damage onto uh, Zassium. That Gleam could have... If we Gleamed, it probably would have taken out the Yvelta, but it might have taken out the Zassium too. I know it's not very effective, but plus two. It was only at half health. Hold on, had a high chance of doing that, and then we don't have to worry about this Pokemon at all. We don't have to worry about this little Landers at all. I'm not worrying about him one bit. Let's see what he goes into. Probably Zassian, right? Probably little old Zassian. Or is he gonna go in the Rollboom? Make a move. Make a move. Is this Zassian? It is Zassian. Alright, so this thing's gotta go. He's gonna he's gonna hit me so hard. He's gonna hit me so hard with this. It's over with. We already know it. We're gonna have to go for the geyser all day. We're going for the geyser to hit the KO. And then he has the Robo in the back end to take me out. Rough news. Rough, rough news. Rough news. How much damage is this blade really gonna do? If it takes me out one shot, I might cry. I might cry just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. But he kept playing good swaps with my Crookedile. I kept trying to get my Crookedile out here. And of course he protects him. God dang it, man. <laughs> God dang it. I wonder what he's going for with him. He's gonna okay. He's gonna fly. That's okay. That, that's fine by me. Again, I'm not worried about the landing. So he's wasting out of Dynamax turns. That's fine. We're gonna go for Geyser. How much damage are we gonna chip away on the Geyser? Okay, not bad. Not too bad. 
Not, not too bad. We set the rain. And, uh, do you think he, he hard swaps there? We could guard. But nah, we can't. Let's go for another guys here. We gotta take him out. I was gonna go for a resonance just in case he wants a hard swap. But I, I just don't think he's gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna go straight for that blade here. How much damage is this doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We already know it's over. We do know it's over. This thing is gonna bring us down to enough damage where Grassy Guy can take us out. Fly's gonna come through here. That's gonna do like nothing. Minimal amount of damage. Guy's gonna fly through. We do get rid of Zacian. He's gonna bring out this Pokemon. Go bring out this Pokemon. This little Rillaboom. Hmm. Hmm. What is my play? Burn's gonna chip away some more damage there. I'm not really worried about the Lando one bit. I'm not worried about the Lando one bit. Here comes Rillaboom. I'm trying to think of a way that maybe we can win this one. We just can't. We just can't do it. <laughs> we just can't do it. Our Dynamax is over. I'll go for a freeze dry or something, but Grass Guy's just gonna fly, right? Or he's gonna fake me out. Hopefully he doesn't fake me out. I'm just gonna run it. It's over with. We already know it's over with. We're down to 67. I'm running the battle. 0 and 2 for today's video. Let's hop into our third. And you know we have to grab ourselves a victory in that one. So we do not go 0 and 3. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Sitting at 0 and 2. And you guys know the deal. We have to win this third and final battle. We do not go 0 and 3 in a YouTube video. We're going up against a Zacian and Kieran White team with Blastoids, Grimmsnarl, Landorus, and Incineroar. So two Intimidate Pokemon. So special attackers are definitely going to be our friend here. Definitely gonna be our friend. I think we're gonna lead the Xerneas alongside with Raichu here. Try to set him up here. If we can set him up here, that could be a lovely, lovely little turn. Could definitely be a lovely turn. I want the Ho oh, of course. And then I'm thinking of leaning more towards the G Max Lapras, or do we go Crocodile? Crocodile's not too shabby here. Crocodile not too shabby with a few physical attackers on the field. I'm leaning towards that. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. We have to be positive because I'm shaking a little bit. I'm not going to lie. We never go 0-3. That's my one rule, so I got to step it up here for the Jeans Online Gaming community. I got to step it up here for you guys. So, we'll see who he leads. I do like the Xerneas here. I really do. But if he leads that, uh, he leads that Zacian, I could A, fake it out, turn one, set up the Geomance, B, swap into my Crocodile. I have a lot of different options. I can kind of go with, but I'm kind of wondering. We do have Sing on the Raichu, and I haven't used it yet, but the accuracy is like 55. It's 55. And it's just like, dude, am I really banking on a, fl a coin flip? No, I do not want to do that. I do not want to do it. <laughs> but we'll see who this guy picks. He's struggling the lead. He's struggling for his lead. We're just, we don't mind anything besides his ass in his lead. I don't mind the Blastoise, the Kirim, the Grimstarl, the two Intimidate Pokemon. They lead him. Lead him all day. Just do not lead that ass in. Just do not do me dirty like that. We just don't want it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Jeans Online Gaming Community. This one's for you guys. Let's see. Who are you leading, kind sir? Anybody but the Zacian. I love you. Thank you very much. Okay, so Zacian does not get the lead. He does have Fake Out ready to roll. We were posing a threat with the Blastoids. Geomance has got to be set up here. Let's set it up. Let's get bucks. Fake out the Grimstarl. Not dealing with the Grimstarl. Not dealing with the Grimstarl. So we're going to... Not Volt Switch. We're going to fake out the Grimstar. I'm not dealing with the Grimstar. Grimstar has Prankster. It probably has Fake Out here as well. We have to fake him out. We just have to give him the Yield Klapskis, allow our boy to set up his Geomance, and then we have to get rolling from there. I could see a uh, G Max Blastoise rolling out here, or maybe he might be Shell Smashing. He has a lot of different options here. I don't know. We'll see. I think we pose such a big threat on the Blastoise, he might just protect, or he might just swap out here. We shall see. We shall see. But I do like this. If he hard swaps in Zassian this turn, I could always protect my Xerneas next turn and then just uh, Volt Switch out. Get off some damage and then chip away onto him. We'll see what he does. He's thinking hard. Long and hard here. He's thinking long and hard. He's like, dang, dude, he's got this thing out here. And he does not swap. He doesn't do anything. So fake out comes out. Beautiful turn for us. Geomancy is setting up. We love it. We love that turn. Okay, so now we're sitting at such a good turn for next turn. Because A, he's not going to be able to take out any of my Pokemon here. Unless he goes for Shell Smash. Let's see what he does. But still, we outspeed at that point. Because next turn, I'm thinking of just Dazzle and Gleaming. Gleam should 100% just to be able to take out Grimstar on no problem. And chip up some damage on the Blastoise. And then we can Volt Switch out on that thing as well. He's going to go for Yawn. How dare you? How dare you do that? How dare you? That kind of threw me off a little bit. But Gleam's still going to fly here. I just don't feel like the hard swaps are play. I'm going to Volt Switch you. Volt Switch this lovely little Pokemon. I think Ho-Oh might be our Dynamax Mon. I'm liking Ho-Oh for a Dynamax here. If he does have Zacian in the back end. I do like that. 
Yeah, Ho is probably your Dynamax mod. We do have Crookedile in the back end. I do like Crooks. Do really like Crookedile. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna double protect? He might protect the Blastoids. I'm hoping he doesn't protect one. I don't think Grimstar is rocket protect. Most Grimstar do not rock protect, but we're hoping this Blastoids. I don't mind if he swaps the Blastoids either. I'd rather get off damage on somebody other than Blastoids. He's gonna okay. He's gonna Dynamax Blastoids. That's, I like that even more. I'm not even gonna lie. I like that a lot more. He's gonna waste his Dynamax right here on the Blastoids. I'm with that, I'm with that. So Grimstar is gonna go down here. We know that for a fact. We're gonna chip up some nice damage onto this Blastoids with a Volt Switch and a and a Gleam here, which is plus two Gleam, I should say. What's he gonna go for? Scary Face, maybe? He faked tears me. Who's he faked here? Go ahead, fake tier my Xerneas. Okay, you're putting him to sleep and you're gonna take him out? I'm with it all day. Gleam's gonna fire. Yeah, uh, later, Grimstar. Yo, we might be able to KO this thing. Right, you do him dirty. We get a crit on that Blastoids. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. Volt Switch, KO him. He has Wakan buried. No! I don't think that was taken out. That would have been cutting it close. So he's gonna take out my Xerneas here. I'm gonna bring out Ho-Oh and I might just Dynamax him. We could go Crooks. No, we're gonna bring out. Uh oh, I can bring out Crooks next turn. I can bring out Crooks next turn. Uh oh, is fine out here. There is no way you're going after my Ho. -Oh. There's just no shot. So I'm just gonna bring out Ho, -Oh, knowing that he's going after Xerneas, right? Yeah. Am I? Oh, baby, Xerneas eats. Xerneas eats due to his plus two on the Geomance. That's a lovely, lovely turn here. We love that turn so much. We love that turn so much. I'm a big fan. But we go to sleep. Which we do not like. So we go to sleep. Uh, I kind of wanted Xerneas to go down. That's tough. Because I wanted my Ratchet to come out here. I could protect. Which I'm thinking of doing. Let's see if he goes out into. Or we can just Dynamax here. This is tough. This is real tough. You notice the Canyon E damage is going to take us out. We might have to guard here. I might, I'm, th I'm thinking of Max Guard and just let my Xerneas go down here. That's got to be my play. Yeah. Dynamax into a max guard. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I'll obviously go for the gleam, but I'm gonna Dynamax into a max guard. Or I could hard swap. I'll let Crookedile go down here. No, we, we gotta Dynamax into a max guard here. I need to let Xerneas go down at this point. I need to let Xerneas go down here. Let my boy drop down. So he's gonna hard swap into you. So that's fine by me. It's a fine swap. It's a fine swap. Maybe he thinks we're going into fire move, but Intimidate's really gonna do is dirty. Ah, okay. So we'll guard here. We'll block this shot. And then next turn, we'll go into. We're going to ride you. <sighs> Dude, what am I doing? What am I gonna do here? What is my play? I've really got to win this one. i got to win this one right here, right now. Let's see it happen. Guard comes out. We get the blocks up. Xerneas is still slumped. He's going to go down to, to obviously, the Candy Need damage. Candy Need's going to get blocks. The guard wasn't bad here. And now he has, he has Fake Out ready to roll, which is tough news. He has Fake Out ready to roll. But so do I. But so do I. Which is really good for us. So you know what? I'm just gonna go on the right here. And I'm gonna fake out his incinerator. Just so we can keep our focus at. And I don't think a canyon can actually take out my uh I don't know if a canyon can take out my what's it called? My ho oh. So you know I'm just gonna airstream here. Try to take some speed. My fake out comes first. Bill, we're gonna make this thing flinch. Let's see what he goes for here. We get a crit, beautiful. <laughs> just what we wanted. He flinches. He's going for the canyon, obviously. Can you go on the right you please? Or if you're going in ho ho, -ho please just, you know, just soak it up all day. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Big old soaks there. We're going to... We should be able to take him out with this airstream. If not, we can both switch into him next turn. But I think it should be able to take him out, right? Of course it doesn't. We hate this game. Okay. The canyon needs going to be chipping out. That is going to take off our focus edge, which I don't like. We still have Crookedile in the back end, which Crookedile can do some work down onto the... Uh, onto the... What's it called? Oh, and Mago Berry. Awesome. But Crookedile can do some work onto the Zassian. So we get that off. That is beautiful. And then I guess we're just going to have to Volt Switch, right? We're going to have to Volt Switch and go into an Airstream on the other side. Because we we want as much speed as we possibly can. So Volt Switch is going to poke here. 
And we're just gonna go for an airstream. This is solid. This is solid. Solid, solid, solid. I like where we're sitting here. I really do. I really do. Dude, what a bunch of battles today. Three battles, really, really good. All long drawn out. We did lose two, but they were super, super close. We're hoping we can win this one. Let's just see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. We got we had, we had a good Dynamax with our Ho-Oh here. We still have our, like I said, we have our Intimidate Crocodile in the back end. To, to counteract on that Zassian. We'll Intimidate him, which actually we might not be able to get the Intimidate off here. But again, we do have that Choice Scarf with that high horsepower, which is stab. We should be able to get off a nice chunk of damage. At least half it, right? I'm thinking it should at least half it, and we should be able to at least soak up a shot. He's gonna hard swap in Zassian. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Because we're Volt Switching here into our Crocodile. So that works really, really good for us. That works really, really good for us. And we already have the Blast Race down on low health. So, we go for the Volt Switch. Uh, and then we'll be able to get off a big old Intimidate on two physical attackers. Not one, but two. And then we're getting some more speed up with our with our bird here. The Crocodile flying out here. Let's get it done, baby. Let's get it done. And then we have the Raichu in the back end again for Fake Out Control. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Crocodile flies out here. Intimidate. Yes, sir, Crooks. My good old bank robbing Crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with them. Airstream's gonna fly here. Not gonna do too much damage, but again, we, we want that speed boost all day. The speed boost's gonna fly here. Um, let's try play here. Let's try play on this turn. Let's try play on this turn. What's he going for? Flare butts, maybe? Yeah, he does go for flare butts, which my boy eats up. My boy soaks up all day. Easy eats. Easy eats with Intimidate, and he's gonna take some recoil damage. So, oh, dude, the canyon eats. Oh, I hate the canyon eat damage. I hate it a lot. And it's chipping me up. Really doing me dirty. Okay, so from here, I could... Mm, I could double down his ass, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to. So, you know, I'm just going to go high horsepower here. I'm just going to go Sacred Fire. I could recover. But no, I'm going to go Sacred Fire. I do think he's protecting. But this is going to be my player all day. He's going to withdraw in Sinor. So we're going to take out Blast Switch here, and we're going to be able to get off a of Sacred Fire. We're actually hoping he takes out my Ho-Oh after this. This will be a big turn for us. He protects Zassy. I knew I should have recovered. Recover was definitely my play. But now I can double down into him next turn. I, I should double down into him next turn. I should. I mean, he does have fake out ready to roll, but... But who's he going to fake out? That's the real question. Who is he really going to fake out? Ah, oh, dude, this battle's freaking... I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I could definitely protect the Ho-Oh, but that's not going to be a call if he fakes me out, right? I have to double down Zassy and get off some damage. Yeah, I have to double down into this guy. Doubling. Send it. I could have recovered in the last turn. That would have been a beautiful recover for us. That could have been a huge recover. But who are you going to fake out? We pose a threat on both sides. This battle. Dude, this battle. We saw the Raichu in the back end, which we could swap into. But Intimidate did come out, which was big. Fake out comes out onto Ho-Oh, which I actually like a little bit better. I actually want him to take out my Ho-Oh. High horsepower, five sir. How much damage are we getting off? That's decent. That's not bad. Uh-oh, flinches. Take out my hoe. Sacred Sword flies over here, and he's gonna take out you. Takes out you. Now we're gonna bring out Raichu. We are gonna bring out Raichu. And I have a... I'm in a weird situation here. Actually, I'm gonna still fake out this Zassian. I'm gonna fake out Zassian, and I'm gonna recover. It's my play all day. I need more HP. I need more HP. I need HP. Oh my lord, this battle is... I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Let's see what he does here. I was going to fake out the Incineroar and read the Protect, but that's just... That's too risky. That is way too risky. I'd rather just get some HP back here. Fake out comes out here. Cool. So fake out does do wonders here. We get off some trip damage. I'm going to be able to recover. Let's get some HP back. Bulk up. Bulking up. He's probably going to go into a Flare Blitz, which I'm just hoping my Raichu can just soak up, right? Raichu can soak up. That could be a great turn. Let's go into the Flare Bus. Raichu, come on, yo. I need you here. I need you here, big dog. Oh, it goes into Ho. Wow, that did a lot. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. A lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay, so from here, I could sing. Sing ain't bad. But it's like, ooh. It's like, ah, okay, let's do this. What's my what's my dude's speed at? He should be faster, right? He should be faster than yeah, he's 100 percent Should be faster than my boy. Than Zassian, so I'm just gonna go into Sacred Fire. And this should be able to take him out. Come on, ho, ho. He might protect, right? He does protect. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Sacred Fire's gonna get blocked. 
Volt Switch, I think should... Oh, is this thing rocking a berry? That berry could do me dirty. Volt Switch, come on. Give me a crit or something. Do some damage. Oh, another Volt Switch might not be able to take him out. What about it's flying? Who's he going after? Why don't you eat this? Yes. Why don't you eat? And a whole oh, bunch of recoil damage comes through. Bunch of recoil damage comes through. So Volt Switch is flying here. We're going for the Sacred Fire. Let's do it. Freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out. This is such a good battle. It is such a good battle. We might go for double protect, but then if he does, we take out that uh that incineroar, right? Sacred fire flies through here. Get him out of here. Take him out. Let's go. Ah! Okay, he hits Ho-Oh. Okay. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. If he would have taken out Raichu there. If he would have taken out Raichu, he probably would have won. But yo, your boy promised you a win in battle number three. Your boy promised you that. And like I said, we don't go 0-3 on the channel. Wow, what a battle. Dude, what a set of battles today. I love it. I love it. Zassian gets a free focus sash. Makes me shake my boots a little bit. But we take these wins all day long. He cancels battle. Let's go. Those battles had me on the edge of my seat. The edge of my seat the whole time. All three of them were absolutely phenomenal, but we ended up grabbing ourselves a loser record. But more importantly, we did not go on three. I promised you guys that victory in battle number three, and we prevailed, which is absolutely awesome. But all three of those battles definitely could have went either way. The first and second battle could have definitely went our way if we made one different play, and that last battle could have went our opponent's way if he would have made a play that way. But this team was awesome. A lot of fun with it. Cool off-meta Pokemon like the Crocodile. We had the Ho-Oh and Xerneas got to showcase them. And I think the only Pokemon that we didn't really get to use was the Ferrothorn, right? Yeah, but you guys already know what the Ferrothorn does, so it's all good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.